after you create your dimension style, you can start your dimension of this orthographic projection. The format and location of the dimensions follow a standard practice which are labeled as ANSI standards similar to the ones I provided in this link here on this website. You will have classes in drafting that describe dimensioning rules at another time. For now, the concept is to practice dimensioning itself. Typically, the summary of the dimensions are the overall width, overall height are shown in the front view. The overall depth is shown either in the top or the right side view. Details of dimension where you see them, such as this, these three dimensions here, 7 16 Location dimensions for features should be shown in the view in which the location of that object is featured, such as the slots. That's where these two dimensions are here, and this one right here locates where this is. Don't even on the other side because it's symmetrical. This object measurement here indicates where this hole is. Size dimensions, such as the size of holes, need to be described where you see the holes. Angles as well. What we do not dimension are things that are hidden, so we don't dimension hidden features. All right, let's begin. The dimension layer should be current. The dimension commands are here, linear for horizontal vertical measurements, angular for angles, radius for radii, diameter for holes and slots, for example. There's other dimensions as well. This new button here in AutoCAD is convenient but not always perfect. Other commands for dimensions are found in Annotate. Here are the commands again. Let's dimension the small features first. Snap to endpoints. AutoCAD doesn't place dimensions as best as they should, so I'll explain to you how to clean up your dimensions after we place a few of them in. We will need to use the grips of the dimension to better align them into place. First of all, We'll snap them to the midpoint of the lines. AutoCAD always best fits the dimension. And still there's some flaws you have to work with. So you can slightly pull up just a bit. Hit the escape key as you're working with dimensions. Dimensions have to extend beyond the object a specific distance. That distance is one half inch away. So after you extend that, uh, uh, after you extend that dimension half inch away, you'll have the proper location of that dimension. So what I'm doing is I'm using the grip to O snap it to the line, stretching it, and typing in one half. Unfortunately, AutoCAD does not have the ability to place dimensions at a specific distance apart. If there is, I haven't heard the technique how in which to do that. Let's add some location dimensions for the slot. Half an inch. The continue button will continue where you left off, right here. See that right there? So I'll just O snap to here and get the next dimension in place. That's called continue. Let's remove these lines we don't need anymore. And continue dimensioning. Dimensions have offsets. Extension lines should not be touching an object. When an object is curved, however, it appears to be touching. So we need to work with that to eliminate that problem. We have to grab the grip and move it visually 
without O snap. You know, snap is on right now, so I'm trying to pull away from it, like that, for example, to give it that space. You will have to do that sometimes, unfortunately, but we need to follow that guideline. I can remove this construction line also, the one down here. There's an offset, for example. Certain lines are not offsets, they do connect with each other, so this is appropriate. Overall width. Where does this get one get placed? This one is three fourths away from the object. So I snap it here, point up, and type in three fourths. And it looks to be too close together. So that's a minimum distance, so we could pull it up even further. So the second row dimensions is three fourths away from the object. Like that. You can go even further out if you'd like. It's a minimum of three fourths of an inch. So one half and then three fourths of an inch. Again, if you find lines that are too close to the curved shapes, pull them apart. Overall width, overall height, overall depth would be over here. fillet I need to pull away from. Okay. What's next? A location dimension. Point five. Radius, just grab a curve and place it where you need to. It could be here or here. The distance for these at least a minimum of half an inch. That looks like half an inch right there. Diameters, grab a circle and drag. If you're having problems with placing your dimensions, let's say yours don't stretch like you see me doing here. Let's say it only places it this far away and you can't control its location. Just place it in, take off ortho mode, and then you can freely move the dimensions where you'd wish or where you like. Okay, so be aware that sometimes AutoCAD will control where it wants to place them the value. You can use the grips to move it. Here's an angular dimension right here. And I'm going to add the words that you see here and show you how to do that. To measure an angle, use angular and you select two lines. And AutoCAD will decide where it wants to place the number. We don't want dimensions inside the object, so we will drag and pull this out. Once again, or the mode should be offering you to do that freely. How to add how to add text. You double click on the value, use your arrow keys to get to the right of the dimension, and type in all caps. In this case, there's two of them, that means times two. And then you click on close text editor. These are drill holes, so you type in drill up X2. So I double click. Just like that. So we have our object dimension completely. Overall width, height, and depth. All features are measured by size and location and all other details are labeled. 
this represents that piece, this represents this piece, this represents this piece here. Once again, there's alternative ways to dimension and other rules to follow, but that's another lesson for another course. Ortho mode back on, so I can stretch that line. Here's another one. Stretch that line. Get that gap that we're looking for. That looks better. Here's another one. What are these little dots? Those do not print. Those dots are called def points. Def points are markers for dimensions on AutoCAD. That's where this layer comes from called def points. Anything on that layer will not print, so make sure you do not use that layer called def points.